Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic spray paint art. This piece will contain one planet and some space dust. First, you need to make sure that you have all the required materials to create said artwork. Uh, the first thing you need to have is obviously paper of some sort. If not paper, if, if you've done this before, you can use wood or some other material, but paper is the best thing. This is a paper I got from Hobby Lobby, and it is a specific type called graffiti paper. I've used it for quite a few of my other pieces of work, and it works really well. Uh, it's a good size, and as it says, it's graffiti paper. It's made for spray paint. Uh, next, another obvious item that you will need is spray paint. Always use the same brand. Don't mix and match brand spray paint. The one that I seem to like the most is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra, Ultra Cover 2X Gloss. This is the type that I use. I find it to work really well. I used another type before this, and it did not perform as well. It was rather runny and didn't do as didn't do as well. Uh, the other two objects that you will need is some form of glossy magazine paper. I just semi-gloss, glossy, non-gloss would even work. Newspaper works. I use this magazine. I've been using this magazine for a while now. It's just some magazine that my grandma got. Uh, and then something ground with a small sort of rim on it, which I have right here. As you can tell, I used it quite a bit before. It's just a burner cover for a stove. That's all it is. It's got a relatively small lip, so it doesn't cover up too much of the paint when I'm spraying. So it doesn't leave that much of a line around the edges or anything like that, which is... You don't want that. So, just something like this to cover up the actual planet. And then this. This is something new. I just got this. It's a face mask to help you to, to filter out the, uh, the, spray, the spray paint and make sure you don't kill all your brain cells. For recording reasons, I'm not going to be using this due to audibility. You wouldn't be able to understand me if I wore this. But this is something you might want to invest if you plan on doing this a bit. Plan on doing this a lot. This is something you want. I'm not going to be using it because you wouldn't be able to understand a single word I say. Okay. And so for in this one, I'll be showing you how you create a simple planet and then some stardust. Just extra colors in the space and stars. Rather simple, not that hard to do. I have my chosen colors. I chose them ahead of time. Blue, orange, they go very well together in a planet and things like that, so it'll work really well. And now the first thing you want to do is create your planet. First you need to choose where to place it. So you take this, your burner, lid, or whatever circuit you have, and choose where you want. So I'm going to say, I'm going to want it in the corner somewhere, like that. Boom. That's where my planet's going to be. Okay. Once you have your position, you just want to give it a light mist. Just kind of spray it over the, top, over the top of it so you can kind of get the placement of where your planet's going to be. And move your, remove your burner. Then take the two colors that you're going to use, in this case, orange and blue. And then you... Now you want to spray your two colors where your planet is going to be. Once you have sprayed the colors, you're going to take the magazine and basically place it on top of the colors. And I'll show you that now. So you take the two colors, say orange first. Just kind of have fun with it. Just kind of color where your planet's going to be. Make sure you get at least most of it covered. Then you take the other color. Kind of spray on top. It doesn't have to be a perfect cover. Kind of mesh it around. Just have fun with it. And then, as I said, take the magazine paper, place it over top, kind of smear it, just get it placed down, hold your paper, and peel away. And that gives the texture. Turn the magazine paper over, place it down, and peel away. And you can do it as many times as you so please to get the texture that you want. I try to get rid of many of the uh, sharp lines as I possibly can to make it look a little smoother. And just throw that piece to the side. You'll throw it away later. Once you have done that, next you want to uh, add your shadow. Choose where your, your light source is going to be from. I'm going to say my light source is from here. This is where my light source is going to be located from, this direction. So the light's going to be shining on the planet here. So what you want to do is take your black, kind of 
kind of go with the shape of the planet, make it kind of give it a little depth. Take your planet cover and cover up the planet, including a little bit of the black. And there you go. That will be where your planet is located. Next, you need to spray everything with black. That is it. Leave this on and spray everything with a coat of black. You don't want to do it too heavy to it, it cause it to look a little funny, but you want it to cover up the paper and cover up the color that you added in around it. Next are the stars. Now there are two ways to do the stars, and this is with white or any color you prefer. I do white because that's kind of the basic. Shake it up a little bit. Okay, there's two ways. One, you can take your finger and spray your finger. Just like that, flick it once and flick. Flick it. And there it starts. Another way, easier shown than explained, is to take the can Hold it at kind of like a 45 degree angle away from the paper. Kind of just halfly squeeze it. You don't want to squeeze it all the way. Kind of do it away from it at first. Kind of get, you want it to spurt. You don't want to spread like this. And you just put the stars where you want them. That one causes drips and it causes quite a mess. That one's a messy way, but it works, I think, a little better than the actual flicking. But there's the stars. Nice and simple. Uh, next is the space dust. To do space dust, you take the two colors, or any color you want, really. I normally choose the colors that I did for the planet, just because it kind of matches a little better. You take two colors and kind of spray however you want. Like, I'm going to add some space dust right in this area. So I just take the blue and just go, boom. Not bad. I can do it as much as I want, kind of. Give it that little bit of blue texture, take the orange and kind of go over top of it. Just give it a little bit of space dust, a little more color, so it's not as black as normal. And once, once that is done, it looks good like right now, it doesn't look that bad. Now that you know how to create it, you simply pull away the planet, boom, there's your space art. It's as simple as that. There's nothing to it. Costs a little bit to start up, but once you do it, you can sell it, or you can keep it yourself and just make your own collection, do whatever you want with it. I think this looks pretty magnificent, if I do say so myself. And now that you know how to do it, experiment. Have fun with it. Do the things other people didn't do. I hope you enjoyed. Now that you know, that's a basic tutorial. One planet, a little bit of space dust, and it taught you basically the basics to get started. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.